What's happening, jig heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing some tips that will help you locate and catch more springtime channel cats. Stick around for the action. Uh-oh. Just got one turned loose and hooked up on another. Gonna be a good day out here today, y'all. See you later, bud. All right, getting down here today, guys. We're gonna be fishing the shallow flat. Got about five or six foot of water all the way across this part of the pond. We got a good west wind pushing back here as well. These areas are a great place to target early spring channel cats because these areas do tend to warm up a little bit faster. With the wind pushing back here as well, it's gonna push a little bit of warm water back here and a little bit of forage. So a great place to target early spring channel cats. We're gonna be throwing some frozen bluegill at them today, saved up from over the winter. And uh, we'll, hope they're, we'll hope they're feeding. I, I'm pretty sure we'll get on them today, so stick around. We got that one. He came back for it. Just freaking smoked it. Yeah, that's another solid fish, y'all. They're up here feeding after winter. These shallow wind-blown flats like this, great spot to get out early spring, late winter, get on you some good channel cats. Be honest, I'd like to take a couple home. These ones I'm catching out here today are just a little bit too big in my opinion. I'd rather have them about two or three pounds. This one here is probably another six or seven pounder. Oh yeah, giving the old forearm a workout. All right, let's get down here and get him. That one came on the old Sandy Cooper rig right there. Now just quit it. You done been caught. There's another one, y'all. Check him out. Nice, dark, big old fat head on him. Get him back. Yeah, it's a good looking male right there. Uh oh. We got one going back and we got this other one just laid over on us. Blake, you should have been on that one. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I, it was. It was freaking rocking in the dang pole holder. There he is. He's on. Just got one turned loose and hooked up on another. Gonna be a good day out here today, y'all. Appreciate you folks tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the episode. Whew. I'm enjoying the fishing, I'll tell you that. Golly, that's another good fish, guys. Almost a double up. We'll call it a double. That one was still swimming by the bank when this rod went down. Oh, golly. One thing about these short rods, man. Work them forearms out. Afternoon bite is heating up. I 
Yeah, golly, that's another really nice fish. Oh, quit. Quit. Yeah, that might be biggest one so far. <laughs> Y'all check that out. Golly, that's a lot of fun, man. Whew, nice fish. He's got to be at least six or seven. You can't beat that. Get him back here real quick. Shoot, I got both lines out of the water, man. We got to get back to fishing. All right, get on back there, big dude. See you later, bud. Yeah, hell, I was watching that one swim off, and then all of a sudden I heard that rod creak in the rod holder, man. Just laid it over. Woo! He left me enough guts, too. I think I'm just going to use the same bait. Baits today, y'all. I save all my bluegill heads from ice fishing over the winter. And then I usually take and cut just right below the gills here. End up getting two baits out of it. Uh, most of the fish today have came on this uh, belly piece with the guts in it. But excellent, excellent early spring channel cat bait. A little bit about the rig I'm using down here today. We just got some old cheapo medium action Walmart rods. That one's a quantum. We got the Abu Garcia Cardinal 40s. Two different rigs. I've got uh, Sandy Cooper rig on this one. A little four out. That's a uh, Whisker Seeker triple threat. Two ounce no roll. And uh, this other one, I've got a, got a drop shot rig on it. Same hook, same reel different cheapo rod and we're just bombing these baits out here in this shallow area of this pond it's a shallow flat back here winds pushing back this direction if y'all watch my channel you know in the spring i love to fish wind blown areas it's an ideal place to find fish that are up feeding after winter every single one of these channel cats i've caught today has had a big old fat belly because they've been up here just gorging themselves. And that's when I come out, throw a little fresh bluegill at them, and get them up here on the bank. Get them rods back out there, we'll catch us another one. Folded it over for us. Yeah, he's a dandy. Forearm's getting tired. He's tuckered out. Get down here and get him. Yeah, that's dandy right there, brother is y'all nice big beautiful pond channel cat we'll get this one back that one right there was the perfect bite man he just said look 
folded her right over. All right, y'all, I'm wrapping this one up. Had a blast out here today catching those early spring channel cats. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I definitely hope that the information that I share helps you to become a better angler. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate you tuning in. Give this one a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see y'all on the next one. <laughs>